Hi everyone. In this video module, we will see how to use a bubble map in Google Data Studio. First of all, how to insert it. Let's go to add a chart and then click on the bubble maps and click on the report where you want the bubble map to be inserted. Now we will expand the map a little bit. Okay. So now a bubble is generated based on the location which is mentioned in the data tab that is country so all our sales are within india hence we have the bubble in india only if i want my bubble map to be generated based on the city of sales then i can choose my city instead of country and this will give me a bubble map like this okay so each bubble represents areas where my sales are made okay so we have sales across different states in India, across different cities. Okay. I can add a tooltip to this. I can add color dimension to it. Like if I want my colors to be based on states. Okay. If I want my colors to be based on state, then I can add it. So all sales being made in Tamil Nadu will have one color. Made in Kerala will have another color. Made in uh, Telangana will have a different color. So like that state wise uh, color dimension i can apply as of now i'll remove it and then all the bubbles are uniform in size if i want the city with highest number of sales to ha have the biggest bubble or biggest circle and the lowest number of sales to have the smallest uh, bubble then i can easily do it by choosing a metric that is sales inside my size category so i'll have sales here okay see now you can see the bubble is biggest in uh, this area and it is uh, biggest in Zeislemer whereas it's smaller in other places. Okay. So this will help us, this size based on sales will help us visually see which area is performing better and which areas are performing poor. Okay. Next is the color metric. If I want uh, the colors to be based on the sales again okay then the areas with highest sales will have dark blue and the areas with lower sales will have light blue as you can see in this map okay so let us remove this for now what should be the date range how to set the default date range like whether the sales for a particular period alone should be considered or the whole data set should be considered everything you can customize under the default date range option and whether to add a filter like only those uh, uh, only those cities which start with letter A. So those kind of filters you can apply. How to do it? We already saw in the previous video. And cross filtering. So if suppose I'm having a control, uh, if I'm having a scorecard, okay, if I'm having a scorecard which shows the total profit, okay, and when I'm clicking on this map and allowing cross filtering whichever representation is present in this report can be filtered according to the uh, according to the location which i choose inside this map for example if i choose chennai then the profit for chennai will be displayed here instead of the profit throughout india if i click on coimbatore then the profit in the region of coimbatore will be shown here this is how cross filtering works okay Let's remove it for now. And then what are the various styling options available? See whether you want to have it as a uh, map or you should have it as a satellite picture that you can decide by choosing the option here. So let's have for map now. What type of theme you have? We should have silver, standard, dark, one dark theme you can have. Let's have to standard again or silver again. And whether a uh, road should be shown whether the landmark should be shown, whether the label should be shown, or how much they should be shown. So all these kind of uh, details, you can edit accordingly. You can simply explore this and play around with it. And the layer type, the locations here are shown as bubbles. If I want it to be shown as filled areas or heat map, I can do it. We'll see in detail about it in the next videos. Okay. And bubble layer. If I want the size of each bubble to increase proportionately, 
then I can do so. So when I am increasing the size of bubbles, all the bubbles increase in size proportionately and when I decrease, all decrease proportionately. Okay. And even the transparency, I can decide. So if I can, if I need 100% transparency, I can do it. If I need only 10% transparency, that again I can do. And what should be the thickness of the borders? If it, if it needs to be very thick also, even that I can do. Okay, and what is the color? I can even choose different colors like pink. Okay. And uh, what is the next option? Allow pan and zoom. So this zooming in and zooming out option, you can disable or enable according to your wish. And then whether you need to show street view control, that you can decide. Whether you should see a full con full screen control, even that you can decide. If you want to give the user an option to switch between the maps and satellites, that also can be done. Okay. And whether you need to show a scale below or not, that also you can do. Okay. And you can edit the legends and uh, the color legends, the background and border accordingly as with any other representation. So in this video, we saw extensively about how to use a uh, bubble map and what are the different styling options available in it. Hope this was useful. We'll catch up in the next video. Thank you.